here. They don't pray unless they are sure heaven is safer than this world here. We are an abundance of lonely and stillness here. We pray in our sleep and awake. In our supplication, we ask God to keep us here for another moment here. The Somalis are met with what we ran from here. Blackness is a sin that their tears will <coughs> apprehend here. My brothers are nowhere. And I am in a nowhere that the world is trying to radicalize and then don me with insanity when they poked at my skin and told me to move. What is blackness but to live in a world that makes waking up more painful than my blood drawn? They take our men and then tell us to grieve quietly. Black women don't know how to grieve quietly here. Black men don't die quietly. Death is our revolutionary unfolding of black effort, so we reserve grave spaces for the undead. Colonialism patronizes blackness, pilfers our lives, and then sells it back to us with the eulogy promising heaven as our healing faith after they kill the niggas in numbers. But tell me, who bleeds a deeper hue of blood than our men? And afraid of a death you gave to them before their mothers died blissfully on hospital beds, our men are the darkest tint of terror. They are the necropolis white police come to bathe in when it gets too mucky outside. But here, nobody prays unless they are sure heaven is safer than this world here. Black men don't die because heaven is safer than this world here. Black men carry birth certificates as identification in case their inert carcasses need to be identified here. Black men wonder if heaven looks anything like home here. Black men wonder if heaven looks anything like this.